Uh, good afternoon. I'm Charles Qi. I'm Hao Su. Uh, we are happy to introduce our work on 3D deep learning. It's a joint work with Matthias Nessner, Angela Dai, Meng Yuan Yan, and Professor Liu Gibbers. It's an exciting moment of 3D. Recently, there's a growing interest to use deep learning on 3D data. However, unlike 2D images that are simply pixel arrays, 3D data has multiple representations, such as volumetric grid and multiview images. Volumetric CNNs take a voxelized 3D object as input, then apply 3D convolution and nonlinear operations. Multiview CNNs first render images of an object from multiple viewpoints, then it combines 2D CNN features of all views. Surprisingly, volumetric CNs lose up by a large margin, according to results reported by previous works. This is counterintuitive, since they explicitly operate on 3D structures. So what's the reason behind it? Is it possible to close the gap? One possible cause of the gap is on architecture and engineering effort. While CovNet on 2D images have been researched for more than 20 years, Deep learning research on 3D data just started very recently. A second cause may be the difference of input resolution. In multi-view scenes, input images captured rich details. However, volumetric scenes take rather coarse inputs. Computation cost for 3D convolution goes cubically, so a typically used resolution is merely 30. We investigate the effect of each individual cause. First, to compare architectures, we unify resolutions of input images and volumes. We introduce sphere rendering, a method to convert volume to image. The sphere rendered images, although still with high pixel resolution, have the same low 3D resolution as the volume. Therefore, by sphere rendering, we can provide both architectures with inputs of the same resolution. We notice that even when inputs have the same 3D resolution, 3D shape nets is still far behind the multi-view CNN, indicating large room to improve 3D CNNs. Our main contribution is to address this gap. We propose two new 3D CNN architectures. The first architecture pushes the network look closer at local regions. The second architecture is inspired by the success of multi-view CNNs, but instead of rendering, we learn to project 3D volumes to images with anisotropic kernels. Our proposed 3D CNN significantly improves the state of the art. More remarkably, it also closes the performance gap between 3D CNN and multi-view CNN under the same 3D resolution. Next, we invest the effect of resolution. We keep architecture fixed and vary 3D resolution of sphere-rendered images. We observe a clear trend. When 3D resolution increases, multi-view CNNs perform better. The trend is similar for 3D CNNs. We see that 3D resolution matters, as future work volumetric-based method needs to accommodate higher resolution. While most of our experiments on CAD models, we also collect real-scan datasets, and our model can generalize well to real data. Our code and data are available online. Thank you.